sir, please tell some information on special education teach jobs, work, and PR, how to come and settle with family day. Okay, I mean, obviously, you're talking about um, coming in as a teacher. Uh, and uh, bear in mind for certain professions in New Zealand, like teachers, for instance, or lawyers, or architects, and uh, doctors, and if you're other, you know, uh, critical uh, 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 occupations, there is an extra step of being able to get a registration. So uh, what happens is, uh, 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 like for instance, an information technology professional, an IT professional, for instance, doesn't have to be necessarily be registered with any particular organization here in uh, our professional body here in New Zealand. But somebody like uh, who's got a background in uh, education and who wants to teach especially special education will need to be registered by the Teacher Registration Board of New Zealand. So, so that's going to be an extra step for you. So how do you uh, get this? Uh, jobs and work and residency as i keep saying it is no longer an easy path for, for people who are uh, outside new zealand to be able to find a job here because first and foremost a lot of local new employers and new zealanders are not very keen to encourage anybody who is uh, uh, doesn't have the legal right to work in new zealand to even consider giving any kind of a job to them so obviously that is something that is ruled out so what uh, and which is the reason as an organization and also as an individual licensed immigration advisor for people like you who are interested to create a migration pathway into New Zealand. I, I keep uh, you know, reiterating the fact that the study plus settled pathway is probably very, very well suited, especially if you're married, uh, because uh, we've seen significant success. In fact, one of the most beautiful things that happened just before we closed for uh, you know, New Year was that you know, two of my clients, uh, my students who came as couples with their families got their residency and, you know, uh, so it was a beautiful way to close out the year so it's working really well that particular plan that particular pathway so that if you're single you come here and do a course and after you complete the course depending on what level of course you do you're going to get either a one two or three years of a post-study work visa and that post-study work visa now you have the legal right for one two or three years to be able to actually go and stand in front of an employer and say hey look i got a local qualification plus i've got a uh you know a uh uh uh, legal uh, working right in New Zealand, how about giving me a job? And by virtue of the fact that we have a lot of uh, shortages in many, many areas, including in education and elsewhere, somebody is bound to give you an offer. And if that offer matches uh, the required salary and the position, is when you would be able to then go ahead and make an application for a resident visa. So if you're married, it'll be amazing if, you know, one of you can come, you or your husband, depending on your English capability and those kinds of things, one of you can chose to come to uh, study in New Zealand and the other, uh, and depending on the level of course that you choose, the uh, accompanying spouse most likely will get a full-time work visa, which is also working like a charm for a lot of people because what's happening is a lot of very competent spouses are coming along with our international students. And uh, while the international student is starting to work, the spouse is able to get into the job market. And you know, sometimes in a month or a couple of months, they're getting some really, really good job offers. and. And then the accompanying spouse is then becoming the main applicant for, uh, you know, um, making the resident visa application. So